Gregory Peck had been searching for his beloved dog for 40 years. Gregory Peck was a star of classic Hollywood, but behind the glamorous facade was a tragic life story. His parents divorced when it was extremely rare. His childhood dog was kidnapped. He saw his grandma die painfully. His son met a tragic and early death. Eldred Gregory Peck was born in 1916 in California. His parents separated when he was two. In 1921, his mom filed for divorce, which was rare at the time. Domestic violence was allegedly involved, though Peck didn't discuss it. His mom got a restraining order on his dad. Peck was raised by his grandma. He had happy times with his mom and stepdad. They got a brown mixed breed dog named Bud. In 1924, something bad happened to Bud. Peck didn't know exactly what. His grandma said Bud ran away, but Peck learned his dad was involved. After neighbors complained of barking, he wondered if Bud had found a home or had been killed. For 40 years, he looked twice at every brown mongrel. At 10, Peck went to military school. He lived with his dad and his other grandma. Around then, his grandma got stomach cancer. At the time, it was hopeless and painful. Peck's room was near hers. At night, he heard her groaning in pain. He couldn't forget the sound his whole life. Peck wanted to be a doctor, but after a speaking class, he pursued acting. Peck struggled as an aspiring actor in New York City. He dropped his first name, Eldred. He studied acting with Sanford Meissner. He was occasionally homeless, sleeping in Central Park. Peck even modeled for food. During this time, he sustained a serious injury. Dancer Martha Graham pushed on his back while he was stretching. It resulted in a ruptured disc. Peck suffered from lifelong back pain. He began acting on Broadway and then in film. His first movie was Days of Glory, a war romance. He did his own fight scenes, rarely using stunt doubles. Peck became a major star, but fate dealt him cruel blows as he aged. Peck's first wife was Greta Kukunen. He loved their three sons, but they argued over his acting career. At 34, Peck had a heart attack from stress. He also briefly had an affair with his spellbound co-star Ingrid Bergman. Peck and his wife's divorce was finalized in 1955. The next day, he remarried Veronique Pisani. They had a son Anthony and a daughter Cecilia. Peck's career took a downturn in 1974 following a series of flops. He was devastated and considered retiring, but Peck made a remarkable comeback with The Omen. Still, happiness seemed to slip through his fingers. In 1975, his oldest son Jonathan took his own life. Peck had tried to get Jonathan to see a therapist. Unfortunately, it didn't help. Peck was in France when his son died. He highly regretted not being there. He felt his presence may have prevented it. Peck outlived his son by 28 years. He breathed his last in 2003 at the age of 87. However, Peck's death was peaceful. He drifted to sleep and never awoke. With age, he had grown more fragile. No particular illness afflicted him. Peck just lived his life to the fullest and died of old age.